Welcome everyone to this 10 minute yoga practice, which we're going to do completely reclined on our backs. You might like to have a pillow nearby. It's not necessary if you don't have one, don't worry about it. So meet me lying down. Keep the soles of the feet on the mat. You might widen the feet a little bit, letting the knees fall in towards one another. One hand on the belly and the other to your heart. Let's start by closing the eyes and deepening the breath in and out through the nose as these two areas beneath your hands rise and fall. And if you are using a pillow, you could place it over towards the left side of your mat now, hugging your right knee in towards the chest, extending the left leg long, and tracing a few circles with that right ankle. Take a few in each direction, articulating through the foot. And then sway that knee a little bit left and right before coming into a supine twist. So left hand encourages that knee over towards the left. Maybe it rests onto your pillow. And the right arm extends out from the right shoulder. Finding your breath, enjoying this twist. And then extend your left arm out from the shoulder and bring the right hand on top of it. We're going to open and close that right arm. So almost like you're opening a book. So inhaling to open, turning the chest towards the sky. And exhaling to close palm to palm. And the next time your palms are closed, let's take a semicircle now with that right hand. So tracing a half moon above your head with those right fingertips and then coming back. See if you can keep the fingertips on the floor all the way, working the mobility of that right shoulder and stretching through the upper back. And last time, sweep yourself open. You might even hold in one spot where you feel the deepest stretch. Just leaving the hand in place for a few breaths. And then maybe you find another spot that feels particularly juicy. And at the end of your next exhale, opening all the way. Final few breaths in this twist here. And then close yourself up once more, palm to palm. And release, rolling back onto your back. Hug that right knee in. Once again, see how that leg feels. And let it go. You can shake yourself out a little bit. Sway the hips from side to side if you'd like. And maybe shifting that pillow over towards the right if you're using one before moving to the second side. So the left knee comes in towards the heart, taking a couple of ankle circles. There's two or three in each direction. And releasing that, using the hands to gently sway the leg a little bit left and right, just rocking the leg in the hip socket. And then we can find our twist, bringing that knee over towards the right, perhaps onto your pillow. Left arm extends out from the shoulder. Maybe closing the eyes for a few deep breaths right here.
and then the right hand comes out from the shoulder. Close your book, palm to palm. And then inhale to open that left arm facing the ceiling. Exhale to close your palms together. So take that a few times at your own pace with your breath. Enjoying the sensation. And then we can close the palms once more, and this time start to trace those semicircles. So left fingertips drag along the floor above the head, opening up, and coming back on your exhale. And again, just take that a few times. This will look a little bit different on every body. Notice where those particularly tight spots are. Saving them for later, we'll come back to them. And then maybe holding one of those tight spots now, really letting that arm and shoulder relax. Maybe switching to a second tight spot, breathing into it. And then opening all the way, inhale here. And on your next exhale, closing yourself off one last time. And then rolling back onto your back. You can extend both legs out. Give them a little bit of a shake again if you'd like. And then hugging both knees in towards the heart now, one hand on each knee. We'll take a few moves here. So bringing the knees apart and back together a few times. Maybe you find a little bit more space each time you open. And then tracing some circles with those knees in one direction. And reversing, go back the other way, letting your hands and arms do the work here. Legs are just coming along for the ride, no effort. And then extend both feet up towards the sky, pointing your toes. The arms can rest alongside the body. Start flexing and extending through the feet. Really kind of exaggerate this here. See if you can wake up the back of the legs as well. And take it one at a time. So one foot is pointed while the other flexes, and then vice versa. Keep going. Really reaching them for the sky, finding even more length in those hamstrings and calves. And then keep the right foot pointed towards the sky. Hug the left knee in towards your heart. You could hold here, or you might catch behind the right leg, and place the left foot flat. So deep stretch here in the back of that right leg. Very nice. You can let that go. Hug the right knee in towards the heart. Point the left foot up towards the sky once more, either holding there or catching hold behind the left thigh or left calf or ankle. The right foot can continue to float or it can find the mat. Breathing deeply here. Beautiful. Gently release that leg. Bring both feet flat to the mat. Widen them a little bit as the knees fall in together. Returning one hand to the belly, the other to your heart. Close the eyes if they weren't already. A little bit of appreciation for yourself. Everything that we're able to do in our bodies here and now.
You can stay here as long as you would like. I'm so glad you joined me today. If you found that you were particularly tight in those shoulder areas, you might like to try my three-day challenge for the upper body. It's completely free, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up for it. I'd love to see you again on the mat soon. Have a beautiful day.